Thermal Fluid Analysis Advanced Simulation Mode Finite Element Method, also known as FEM, is a numerical technique for finding approximate solutions to boundary value problems. It is also referred to as Finite Element Analysis FEA mode. This mode is a computational tool for performing engineering analysis. It includes mesh generation techniques driving complex geometric problems into small elements with the use of software programmed algorithms. The complex problem is commonly a physical system with underlying physics applied such as euler brunolis beam equation the heat equation and the Navier-Stokes equation. This advanced simulation mode is a good choice for analyzing problems over complicated domains such as building structures, cars, oil pipelines, and numerical weather prediction. When the desired precision varies over entire domains or when the solution lacks smoothness, in this tutorial we will discuss and perform several solutions for an exhaust pipe. So to start we have our .prt file designed and ready to begin our analysis design by proceeding to applications tab and entering into advanced simulation mode. From here we can create a new FEM in simulation that will output a FEM and a SIM file. The FEM will contain the material properties and mesh while the SIM contains the constraints, loads, and boundary conditions. We will create an idolized part and we will use the solver NX thermal flow with a coupled thermal flow analysis type so we're able to seamlessly integrate thermal and fluid analysis together with a single environment. Now we can create our solution which is the same coupled thermal with a thermal flow solution type. There are steady state and transient solution types. We will use steady state. Transient delivers the results in a more iterated fashion. We will proceed to the thermal flow results option and expand our 3D flow. We will include our mass fluxes and roughness and surface pressures for our solution and hit OK. We are placed inside of the .sim file. We will enter back into the idolize.prt file to create our wave geometry linker. We will select our body and hit OK. Proceed to the assemblies navigator, turn off our original body. Now we can proceed to the part navigator and view our link body and make any synchronous changes we desire. For flow analysis, it's required to build an internal body to create the domain for a closed fluid volume that we will assign its material to in the .fem file. To do so, we will first go to the command finder and search for the all but selected command. Right click and add it to the top border bar where it will place it at the top border. Now we're ready to delete our faces. We will do so with a method of boss or pocket faces and we will click on an internal face to collect all of the internal piping regions. Now we will click all but selected to deselect the current features and select all the others. And hit OK. Now we have our geometric fluid volume. We will now set up a move face feature to be inner parted in an expression further into the .sim file. Now we can proceed to the .fem file. We can proceed to our simulation navigator and expand our files and polygon geometry and hide our first part body. Then assign our material. By going to Menu, Tools, Materials, Assign Material, we will select our polygon body and we will assign it the material properties of air and assign our 3D tetrahedral mesh. For altering the curvature, the element size around blends, you would alter the surface curvature size variation and hit OK. Now we can proceed to our .sim file and define our simulation object types. We will use a flow boundary condition, choose our three inlets, Choose a velocity mode of 1000 millimeters per second, and we will say that there is a heat load of 25 watts generated at the inlet. Now we will simply make an opening at the other end with the external condition as an ambient temperature and leaving the heat loss in tracer fluids default. Now we are ready to solve our first solution.
We are prompted with a solution monitor dialog box with different listed attributes. We can also proceed into info, see the momentum imbalance, mass imbalance, and energy imbalance. Also, we are able to graph the convergence to the steady state where we are able to determine if our flows are residual to the authoritative target. Also, we are able to track the results for the full model to see the fluid's temperature, the fluid velocity, or the fluid pressure at different intervals of iterations compared to the different results with a minimum average and maximum value. We will exit these prompts and proceed to the results. Now we are able to animate an exaggerated play of the analysis. To create better visualization between the results, you are able to edit the post view, change the type of display between smooth, banded, iso, line, cubes, spheres, arrows, and streamlines. We are also able to change the edges and faces. We will create ours as a feature edge and hit apply. Now if we play our animation, you are able to see that the results are now represented with arrows. Another popular method is by Streamlines, where we will create custom seeds to follow. Hit OK. And now we are able to see our Streamlines and animate them. The animation now displays spherical bubbles with different colors corresponding to its velocity in millimeters and it's clear to see that at the end and it's easy to see the highest velocity is at the opening of the part at 1767 millimeters per second. Now we are also able to view the static pressure, total pressure, the max mass flux and the fluid at any point we desire with graphing capabilities. For the total pressure, we are able to see that there's 3 millionth of a MPA as a maximum pressure, and for the flood, for the temperature, an approximate constant of 27 Celsius. Now we will create a graph. We will do so on path at a path length between the entities we define to get a clearer understanding of the results. We can expand our viewport to create the window for the graph. And we are able to compare the velocity at every segment of the path length that we can customize and define the legend for. As we can see, the liquid enters at a certain pressure. It drops down, decreasing to approximately 500 millimeters a second, and increases as it gets closer to the opening. Now we will return to home and set up an expression to easily manipulate the geometry of this part for another analysis. To do so, we will enter into Menu, Tools, expressions, create an expression called pipe length, and give it a value of 1. And accept the edit and hit OK. Now we will proceed back to our idolize.prt file, then to our part navigator, back into the move face command we first created. We will give it a distance now with the same assigned value of the expression. For a formula, we will create a single inner part expression with the .sim file. We will choose our single inner part expression, which we labeled pipe length. We will accept the edit and hit OK. Now entering back into our .sim, into expressions, and changing the value of this expression. Then entering back into the idolized part, we are able to see the expression. Then we will proceed to the .fem file to update the structure. It halfway interpreted what happened, but we will go to the simulation navigator, highlight the .fem, right click it, and update. So it will update the mesh accordingly. 
Now we can enter back into the dot sin, and our geometry has been changed. And we are able to run a second solve. Enter the results, and we can play it. Now for this adjustment, we can clearly see that the velocity has not really changed at all. So if we were trying to improve this part's flow or thermal attributes, we would then set up expressions to change the edge blends and roundness between the curvature to reach desired result. Now if we didn't want to jump back and forth in between parts and change the geometry manually, update the mesh and resolve the solution, we are able to then return to home and we are able to right click on our .sim file and create a new solution process called geometry optimization. What this process will do is it will create a set amount of iterations that will change the values of geometry or constraints utilizing expressions creating automation to analyze with specified parameters. We do so by using our previously solved solution and NX Optimizer. We will create a result measure objective type that we will create a new one and assign it a velocity with a component magnitude with a mean average operation. We will select our geometry, which is this polygon face, our opening, and create the velocity optimization name. Now we are able to create a parameter we want to target for this analysis and we will say we would like a average velocity of 1650 millimeters per second. No constraints are required. Now we can define our design variable. And we do so by a design variable method of expressions and selecting our previously assigned expression for the pipe length. Then we will define a upper and lower limit for this analysis to create its iterations between which would be a length of 25 to 200 for the pull face feature created in the idolize part. Hit OK. We will create a maximum number of iterations of three, which means there will be three steps in between our assigned design variables and assign lower convergence parameters so the results solve more efficiently. Now we are able to return to the simulations navigator, highlight the setup one, right click and solve. Now that the three solutions and iterations have been solved, it sets up an Excel file that displays the target results measured, which was 1650 millimeters a second, with the different pipe lengths associated to it, with three iterations where we are able to then compare our results measured, which none of the results have an acceptable measure. and we are able to enter into the results for this solution setup and animate the results with a iterations method. The three performed analysis. With their automated corresponding lengths. And that concludes our fluid and temperature analysis.